What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. We finally have a new racing game to check out. This is Forza Motorsport 7. Now uh, honestly in my eyes nothing is ever going to beat the Forza Horizon series. That's easily my favorite racing game series. I think we should be getting Forza Horizon 4 next year which is really exciting but uh, Forza Motorsport 7 is still going to be pretty cool. I mean, I just I, I kind of like Horizon because it's got the realism mixed with the arcade style racing. This is going to be more tailored to realism, but uh, it's still going to be cool. I mean, it's beautiful, over 700 cars. It's going to be absolutely insane. Now, we're going to be starting off this series playing on a controller. You guys do know that I have that crazy like simulator cockpit setup. That would be a dream to play this game on. But uh, unfortunately, this game is only on Xbox, and the wheel that I currently have is for PS4 and PC. Now, I may end up playing this thing on PC on that simulator, but I want to get a new PC built that's just specifically made for running racing games and stuff, because it I, I don't want to bog everything down on my current PC, because I'm always rendering and stuff like that. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and launch this thing up. Like I said, I think this is going to be a really cool series. There's tons of stuff to check out. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys are ready. And uh, let's get into it. Every driver has a story to tell. Of their first race their first race car. Drivers will talk about their victories, their losses, and their journey. Here is the starting point for racing dreams, where aspiring drivers begin forging their own legacy. For a select devoted few awaits not just the finish line, but the chance to become a racing legend. That's exactly what we're going to do, fellas. Become a racing legend. Here we go. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. I'm here to help you achieve racing glory. This is where your journey starts. And trust me when I say it's going to be a hard-fought, hard-driving road to win the cup. It'll be a road full of choices you'll have to make. And here's the first one. Who are you? I think this is going to be cool. I've heard they've kind of revamped the story mode this year, which should be really fun. But it looks like we can be a male or a female. We get one choice. Change your gender just with the flick of a, a joystick. Time to pick out your first driver gear. Okay. You come across more as you race. Alpha gear, finish first green. Or pro rata orange. Bro, I think the orange looks pretty good. Here. You have a choice between starting your campaign for the Forza Drivers Cup, jumping into multiplayer to race against drivers from all over the world, or exploring at your own pace. Dude, I'm going straight for the cup, baby. Let's start up this career mode, see what we got. Just kidding, we almost made a mistake here. I gotta get some subtitles on for y'all, so here we go. Audio, it's not under there. Is it under HUD? Dude, subtitles can always be hidden in the weirdest places in these games. Is it under video? Brightness adjustment. Language? Dude, where? It, it, it's gotta be under audio. Subtitles. All the way down at the bottom where you can't even see them. Okay. Those are on. We got it, guys. Don't worry. Back to the driver's cup. Here we go. The Forza Driver's Cup. The world's largest, most diverse, sanctioned motorsport series. For decades, it's drawn the racing world's best. To win, it will take speed, versatility, and adaptability. Spanning five continents and the world's most legendary circuits, only a few will climb to the top, where racing immortality awaits the winner. But first, step into the shoes of past winners and learn what it takes to win driving's top prize. Did I say we were going to be racing semi-trucks? The 
defining element of racing. Speed is more than the miracles of engineering and design. It is drivers who embrace the pursuit of going ever faster. Last season's cup winner, Michael Mueller, is one of those drivers. Known for bringing record-breaking cars to the track, he turned heads at the Dubai Invitational when he drove a car no one knew existed. Bro, this is dope. This game looks amazing. The detail on the cars when it was coming out of that plane. Whew. All right. Driving the GT2 RS. This is the cover car. That's a rear right quarter. Sorry, Mr. Lambeau. I'm gonna try not to race dirty. As much as we can. Ooh, slow down, slow down. We'll see how well that works out for us. We're okay. Hey, he just clipped us a little bit. I guess that's gonna give you the green light to go dirty, huh? I'll grab this Aston Martin on the outside right there. Beautiful. Dude, this game looks so good. How do we change change views? Oh nope, that's rewind. That's not what I meant. Hey, we're doing good. I'm fine. I don't need to rewind. I'm trying to figure out how to change views. One of the D-pads? Nope. I want to see what it looks like inside the car, but it's gonna look pretty good. Dude, it's gonna be so much nice to play it on the simulator when I'm not using a trigger for the gas and I can actually like lightly press the pedal and stuff to get around these corners. So freaking good, are you kidding me? I feel like I'm actually in this Porsche. Bro, this looks seriously amazing. You can see like the sun bouncing off the Alcantara on the steering wheel. That's so many options for views. This is pretty amazing. Out here in the desert, we've got sand blowing across the racetrack. It's a hazard, bro. Oh, into the tunnel. Oh, please. Please, let's drop a couple gears and just let her rip. Oh, my God, dude. That sounds so good. Built it. How many laps are we doing? Just one? Just one. Got first with a 251 lap time, dude. Oh my god. When I can race manual with an actual wheel, this dude, this series is gonna be lit. I'm gonna work on that very, very soon. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna build a PC just to do racing games or if I wanna get a new PC for rendering and stuff and then use this one for racing. Versatility means becoming a master of any vehicle. To win the cup, drivers must be versatile, because they will not win with just one car, no matter how much speed they apply. At Mugello, Maria Rossi earned the series points lead, and eventually the Forza Drivers' Cup itself, by having the skill to drive something as unconventional as a racing truck to victory. This is a real thing. They actually race semi-trucks like this? Like fully specced out race trucks.
I did not know this was a thing. I, I don't know what to say. It's gonna be cool, I guess. Let's do it. They want me to race inside the cockpit too. Oh, I'm getting lit, boys. Euro Truck Simulator all day. Bro, these things are nuts. The handling on these would be so awful. Why would you ever want to race this? It's actually not that bad. Look at that, already in first place. See y'all. See y'all later. I was scared to wreck the, uh, the GT2 RS, but uh, I'll toss this thing around a little bit. Why is this the most ridiculous thing I've ever raced? Hold on, I wanna see what it looks like outside. What? Dude, you can't even really see anything when you're outside of this. I'd rather be inside the cockpit. These things are low key kind of fast, dude. On this little straight, we're getting up to 100 miles an hour in a semi truck. I think semi trucks are kind of fast in general, whenever they're not hauling something. Obviously, this thing's gonna be all crazy race specked out. The sound. The sound. Got like that weird whiny sounds. It sounds like a race car, but it's a semi truck. Do we have the the hitch thing? Yeah, we've still got our hitch thing in the back. Can we pull a trailer? This this truck shows up to a race and it pulls its own hauler. That'd be funny. Oops. Move back inside. Wonder how much one of these things costs. Getting a bit off-road here. Probably don't want to be doing that. We've got one turn left. Need to be home free. Should we try a little e-brake action? <laughs> Doesn't really work that well. Well, boys. We got it done by quite a bit, I'll take it. In our big old truck. Somebody truck. Good stuff. Two minutes, 31 seconds. Pretty solid. Whoa. Okay. This is getting spicy. Adaptability. Only the prepared will be able to cope with any change on the track. Cup legend Yukio Takagi is renowned for remaining focused even during a downpour. To win the Forza Drivers' Cup, drivers must adapt because speed and versatility are nothing when no two laps are the same. I mean, we're gonna be in the all-wheel drive GTR. Rain ain't no thing. Not even gonna matter, not gonna notice it. That thing is sexy, dude. Huh. Huh. Nismo. Dude, that is so sexy. Are you kidding me right now? drooling right now. This is low-key one of the best looking racing games I've ever played. Might be one of the best ever, period. Not just that I've played. Squeeze through there. What up, Mr. Bentley and Mr. Audi? How y'all doing today? Try to squeeze by you if that's if that's a little deal we can work out. What was that Audi doing, dude? He was way off in the, the rocks over there. Alright, we gotta watch out for hydroplaning. 
And be careful not to push it too hard, but I mean, we're in a GTR. We kind of want to push it. Woo! Does not look anything like my interior, that's for sure. It's got that little F1 joystick looking controller. Oh, dude, this, the sounds! Oh my goodness! We got a hard turn up here. I'm gonna be quiet and I'll let you guys listen. Yes! Dude, it sounds so good. Never lift, baby! I ain't no biatch! Just kidding, I'm lifting a lot here. Here we go, another one. That just sounds so good, dude! Got a nice little straight. Can we get up to like 170? No, definitely not. 153 is it's gonna be our max there. Slam on the brakes, come out of that turn looking all right. Ooh, this is an interesting turn up here. I can't wait to race a GTR in Spa Francochamp. I've done it in real life. I'm gonna relive that dream in this game. All right, boys, I'd say we killed it. Killed it in all three of those races. Three wins, 221. Our lap times got faster and faster each time. We were on different tracks, but. Still kind of cool. Man, we're in for a good game, dude. I'm excited about this. So it's obvious this career mode is gonna take us through all sorts of different types of racing, types of cars, not even really cars, types of vehicles. I think they have NASCAR races in here. They've got trophy truck races. They've got, I mean, obviously F1 races and stuff like that. Like we're, dude, this is gonna be cool. Now you've seen what it takes to win. Speed, versatility, and adaptability. Now, it's up to you. You're about to take part in the premier contest in all of racing. The Forza Drivers' Cup draws only the best. Yeah, it'll be a challenge. But when you lift that trophy, everyone will know you're the world's greatest driver. All right, so it looks like we have six different Kind of like little specs here. We've got the Secret Championship, the Breakout Championship, the Evolution Championship, Domination, Masters, and then Forza Drivers Cup. So we're gonna have to work our way up. We're gonna check out different types of racing, different types of vehicles, all the while. Let's see what's Welcome happening to the here. Secret Championship. Each series is based on more than 50 car divisions, featuring different types of vehicles. So, it's time to make a choice. Which series will you choose first? Okay. So I'm seeing zero out of seven series and zero out of three showcases should get us to that trophy and unlock the next section. So we could choose between Modern Hot Hatch, Historic Road Racing, Rise of the Supercar, Forza Trophy Trucks, Polaris Razor Spec, Open Wheel Legends. I mean, oh wow, look. Kim Block Ford Focus one on one. That's pretty okay. So I think I see what's going on. Is this? These must be the showcases. So I think you need to complete one of these and then you do a showcase. One of these two and then the showcase. One of these two and then the showcase and then you're good. So let's start in this one here. I'm gonna say, man, old Mustangs or or modern hot hatches. I kind of want to do old Mustangs. If you're going to be racing, you'll need a car. Now, the first one is on me, so go ahead and pick what you want. Ford introduced the Mustang to America in the 1960s. And with that, the car company kicked off the Pony Car Wars. It was a battle between American manufacturers that was hotly waged in showrooms and on the track. Cool. So the question is, do we want to rock with this 1965 first ever Mustang? Dude, I would kill to have one of those. Or do we want to go with the Mach 1 here? What other options? Ooh, we've got the old ZR1. Oh my gosh, it's got like the T-tops and stuff. Those are pretty sexy. 
Stingray 427. Ooh, the Boss 302. Ooh, I might, honestly, I might have to go with the Boss 302. Got the old Kudas. Dude, oh, all of these are so sexy. Trans Am. Dude, I'm going with the Boss 302. The 69 Boss 302. That you can use to personalize your car. Okay, this is cool. Go with the green. Dude, I'm, I think I'm going to go with the, the stock. I don't think you can beat the orange and black Boss 302, although that blue looks awfully good, and so does the white, but I've, I've got to go with the orange. I'm sorry. I realize that's kind of boring, but dude, the, the 69 Boss 302 is legendary, dude. To have one of those or to have a 65 must... Oh, my gosh. Before you race, you can make some last-minute choices. You can change your gear, tune your car, and more. Never hurts to give everything one more look before you hit the track. They've got Daytona? Are we... We're not racing Daytona. Wait, we are racing Daytona. Dope, dude. I can't wait. This is going to be sick. All right, we've got, like, mods and stuff. Mods ...to challenge your skills and earn more credits. You can get mods with prize crates and test them out before your race. In these crates, you'll find driver gear, mods, and special vehicles to add to your collection. Supply drops. Freaking supply drops, bro. All right, I'm not gonna do those yet. Oh, we have unopened crates. Oh, we've we've already got crates. Okay, let's open these then. VIP. Yeah, we've got three VIP crates. Okay. Yo, we got a 2014 M series. Okay. That's pretty dope. I like that. Let's open up our next car. I didn't know we were gonna be able to get cars out of these. We might have to buy some of these then, honestly. Oh, we got a purple suit. I'm gonna have to get that. 92 Ford and a 2013 Ram Runner. Okay. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> Yo! We got a Black Edition GTR. What? Let's go, boys. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Yes! Alright. So, what, like... I don't really want to waste our current credits. You don't have enough credits to buy this crate. I'm wondering if you could buy credits with real money because I would consider doing that. Chance for a legendary car. Car driver gear mods and badges guaranteed. Dude, something like this would be sick. I don't know if you could buy credits. We'll think about it. We'll see what happens. Um, how do we equip mods? Improved race rewards? Okay. So now we're going to get 100%... Should we do 300%? Why not? Whatever. That works for me. Daytona International Speedway. Let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it. I love going to races here, man. All right. Keep things properly matched. This race has been homologated, meaning every car on the track meets the same standards. And this way, the race will be kept competitive, but fair. Okay, everything's set. Start when you're ready. Here we go, fellas. Race time, boys. Race time. Let's get it. All right. Oh, this is like Horizon where it takes your friends list and puts a lot of your friends' names on there. Not all of these are my friends, but oh, this guy's named Godzilla GTO. Oh, look at that Daytona. Kind of, kind of slammed up a little bit right there, but we're gonna be okay, dude. We've got 300% bonuses on this race. We most definitely want to win this thing. We've got two laps to do it. Well, not one or two. Woo. 
side. Beautiful. Got a good pass. Traded a little paint. Nothing too serious. Yo, he's okay. So we're racing like that. You know what I love is how the sound changes. This dude's not joking. He's really pushing us here. We're gonna be okay. I love so listen to the sound outside. And then listen to it inside. It actually changes based on your dude, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little attention to detail. Alright, now we can get out on the actual NASCAR track, get some speed up. My mom last year for Christmas, I haven't done it yet, she bought me a uh Richard Petty driving experience where you go take a NASCAR race car out on the track and I think I get like seven laps or something like that of going 150 miles an hour or like 180 I think it's it's like close to the same I don't think you're quite hitting the 200s we could I don't know we'll see what happens but I think that would be pretty dope I'm excited to do it definitely gonna bring you guys a vlog on that This is what Junior sees every time he races at Daytona. We're only going 150. He's usually hitting about 100 and 175 or so. So crazy. Second lap through the road course here. I've never been to the Rolex 24 hour at Daytona. I really need to go this year. Or next year, it's already happened this year. I need to go next year. Usually a pretty crazy race. Look at all the campers and stuff, dude. I just, I love racing, man. I don't know. I've really kind of grown and appreciate, like I've always loved racing games, but I've never really cared about racing IRL. Last couple of years, like knowing Junior and, and like, Going to his races for NASCAR and talking about like F1 with him and stuff, I've been paying a little bit more attention to it. It's such a cool, cool sport and cool lifestyle. All right, boys. Got to get out of the road section again, and here we go. Let's open her up. I'm going to see what we can do here. Get close to the wall, but not touch it. We've got a way better split time for this lap. We didn't have to deal with any of the other drivers. Oh my gosh, dude. So hard to keep steady using an analog stick. Down to the inside, back to the outside. That's the race, boys. Let's go. Got it. And that 300% bonus, fellas. It's good stuff. That's how you race. Nice job. Studio even, even has like the crackly the bad mic state that no from a racing how you headset. Do in any given race, you'll acquire series points. But the better you finish, the more points you earn. Okay. Next race. See what's next. Are we gonna be switching cars or is this like a series of races? Oh, we got, dude, what? Those mods gave us an extra 22,000. That's you legit. Get some easy rewards, you just keep driving. The more you drive, the faster you'll get to a milestone. And milestones can net you some great stuff for all your hard work. Okay. Forecast calls for rain. Best to prep for a wet track. I'm gonna keep all of our mods on. Oh wow, I just realized you get five uses out of each of these VIP rewards. That's legit, dude. 